Ukraine's sudden invasion of Russia's Kursk region has resulted in a rapid territorial takeover, embarrassing Russian ruler Vladimir Putin and boosting Ukrainian morale. As the Wall Street Journal writes, the Ukrainian leadership now faces a dilemma whether to transfer significantly more troops and military equipment, which are desperately needed on the Eastern Front in Ukraine, where the Ukrainian armed forces are trying to contain the occupiers' advance in order to achieve further gains. In just a few days, Ukraine has advanced dozens of kilometers from the border, demonstrating to its enemies, its own citizens and its allies that it is still fighting and can deliver devastating surprises to its adversary. The operation is a high-stakes move as Ukraine is short of manpower and military equipment on its eastern front. Perhaps I am now in the same position as a private who does not understand why he needs to hold a trench. But 1,000 people are very much needed here, said the commander of the Ukrainian battalion fighting near Pokrovsk. At present, the final goal of the Kursk operation remains unclear. At the same time, the Russian government itself has repeatedly stated that its troops are pushing the Ukrainian armed forces back from the border zone. However, the Russian Defense Ministry later admitted that it is striking Ukrainian units in villages approximately 30 kilometers deep in Russian territory. This is a blow to Putin. Of course, I like to see that we are getting into their column. If this continues for several days, I will say that it was very useful, said a Ukrainian officer who fought in the eastern area of Chasov Yar. The US estimates that one of Ukraine's reasons for invading was to interrupt Russian supply lines to the northern front in Kharkiv. In addition, the Ukrainian armed forces have captured dozens of prisoners who could be exchanged. Beyond tactical military victories, Ukraine has shown that it has the courage and skill to covertly plan and launch a complex offensive. After a failed counter-offensive last summer, the defense forces spent a year in brutal trench warfare against a relentless Russian offensive. That has raised questions at home and abroad about how Ukraine can deter such an adversary. With this attack, they completely changed the strategic narrative, said John Nagel, a retired U.S. Army lieutenant colonel who is now a professor of combat science at the U.S. Army War College. He considers the military logic of the operation questionable since the Ukrainian armed forces are under enormous pressure on their own defensive lines elsewhere. In his opinion, the attack could be a signal to the United States, Ukraine's most important sponsor, since elections are expected there in November. The Ukrainians want to draw attention to this invasion. They say the Ukrainians still have a fight left in them, Nagel explained. Fears of escalation have not increased much in the White House, officials say. However, some have expressed concern that fighting in Russia could prompt Putin to take violent retaliation, namely a large salvo of missiles, into Ukraine.